of today's video essay is Lean on Pete, the 2017 A24 Andrew Hay film about a 15-year-old boy who steals slash rescues a failed racehorse and sets off on a long-distance journey alone. There will be spoilers to follow. This is your warning. For all intents and purposes, Lean on Pete is a coming-of-age film, but it disregards all of the subgenres, stylings, and thematic staples. Coming-of-age films commonly fall into the comedy-drama realm, sometimes mixing in music or other elements. There's little to no comedy to be found in Lean on Pete, and it is in fact possibly the bleakest coming-of-age film I've ever seen. Which leads me to believe that might not be what this actually is. There is a degree of mastery at play in terms of the setup of audience expectations. This setup provides additional heft to the narrative twists that prove far darker than one would have expected from the framing of the film. You read this description, see this poster, watch this trailer. Reaching out to find you. Hey, Pete. How you doing? Put it all behind you. Can't get attached to the horse. I'm not good, I know. Why not? They're here to race and nothing else. Yeah, Listen, kid, things are changing. What do you mean? I'm selling them. And you know exactly what you're in for, a heartwarming story of boy and animal, a trying but ultimately uplifting story of struggle, perseverance, and maturation. But then this happens. Slow down, Pete! Come on! Hey! Hey! Pete! Watch out! shattering any expectations you still had for the remainder of the film. This scene happens an hour and a half into this two-hour film. Lean on Pete has made it clear that it's a good film by this point, impressing with a somber tone, heavy realism, and excellent performances from all involved. Buscemi standing out in his supporting role, and Charlie Plummer again proving himself one of the industry's best up-and-coming young actors. But it's this scene and the remaining 30 minutes that raise Lean on Pete to greatness. It goes beyond being unexpected. It upsets the entire narrative in motion and changes the stakes, momentum, goals, and framing. It's a revelatory moment that sends the film into an oppressively bleak third act from the already dour first and second acts. It's the turn in this moment in the ensuing third act that makes me think Lean on Pete isn't truly a coming-of-age film, but actually an inversion of the subgenre. Charlie is left homeless, hungry, scared, in danger. The one source of kindness he happens across turns out to perhaps be the biggest threat to him, in the form of a career-best Steve Zahn turning in a frighteningly real portrayal of aggression and mental illness. You got a job! I know you did! That means you got fucking money! I'll 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 As an audience, we're left hoping that this isn't Charlie's coming of age. He's suffering through so much hardship, such dire circumstances, all before he's even old enough to drive. As a viewer, you hope that he can retain his youthful innocence and have his real coming of age at a later date in better circumstances. This is a coming of age film that does everything it can to make you wish it wasn't a coming of age film. It's easy to empathize with and understand Charlie's point of view. His slide into anger and violence is so believable and gets us saying, no, Charlie, stay good, stay innocent. Don't let these hardships define your life before it's even begun. But it would be all too understandable if these events did define his life. It would define most people's life if it happened to them. 
If you ignored my spoiler warning and haven't seen Lean on Pete, then check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and subscribe for more stuff like it. Check out some more of my video essays, and if you want to support me, I don't have merch, I don't have a Patreon or anything like that, but I do have a post-apocalyptic novel that I wrote available on Kindle and in paperback. You can grab yourself a copy of it, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Yes, this is my real voice, if you had any doubts for some reason. I'll see you in the next video.